Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel to enjoy a new video. Have you ever wondered why your exterior rendering is not that good and what you're missing? So today I'm gonna give you 5 tips to improve your exterior renderings. One, Perspective and proportions When doing any rendering, you have to place a camera and where to place it is really depends on what you are showing. When you have a good spot for the camera, the next thing is to get the right proportion. Let's say you want to get the whole house in your camera and some of the sky, then you have to point the camera up. That will cause the distortion of the image created by the three points perspective. So how to do this right? First, make sure you only rotate the z-axis, not the x and y. The vertical lines should be parallel to each other. Then go to the camera tab and adjust the shift y value. By doing this, you will slide the view up to get the full house but still maintain the two points perspective. For the proportion of the plane, you can use the Composition Guides feature in the Camera tab to turn on the guidelines. I usually choose the third or the center, but if you want, you can try to explore other layouts. Number 2. Attention to details No matter what you are creating, either interior or exterior, the high details will increase the realism to your render a lot. In this particular scene, I can create more details to the scene by using the bevel modifiers to the walls. By doing this, you will make the edges less sharp, because as we know, nothing is perfectly straight. Even creating some bevel to the edges of the wood frame can also make your scenes more realistic. Pay attention to some imperfections, like dust and scratches on the floor or windows. I also put some plants here and there to make the scenes more lively. This grass field is okay, but still not realistic because it is using the same grass model. I can change the size variation a little bit. It will make the grass more natural, but I prefer using the grass wall add-on, which is easy to use and can create fast grass field. I can choose many species at once and many variations of the same species. It's better now, right? Number 3. Using high quality access. I usually use access for my scenes as some models I don't know how to do it or it can take a lot of time to make. Premade access are also in high quality in terms of poly counts and materials. I can just drag and drop the axis into my scenes and quickly create a more realistic scene. I really like to use trees and plants model from 3D Shaker on Blender Market. Their models are very high quality and have an affordable price too. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to have a look. Number 4. Weathering Sun, rain, fog, etc. Anything happen in real life can affect your renders too. Especially exterior renders. I usually add another ABN occlusion layer to the current material that can likely be affected by the weather, such as the walls and the concrete material. To do it, I'll add a mixed RGB node, then set the blend mode to multiply. Then I add an AO node, use the color RAM or brightness or contrast to adjust the AO and then connect to the other slot of the mixed RGB. You can see the difference is quite obvious now. Note that the AO node can only be used when the rendering method is CPU or CUDA and cannot work with optics. To control the distance of the AO, I can also use a dirt map to have a natural look. For this concrete, I can make some puddles by adding a noise texture 
and then mix it with a roughness texture. I can also use the same method for the diffuse color too. Number 5. Lighting. HDRI is so good in easy making background and also can add the global light into the scene. But the problem here is, is choosing the right HDRI for your scenes. It depends on the mood you want the audience to feel. Is it in the morning, at the noon, or in the evening? For me, I find that sunset or dawn is the perfect time to show your exterior render. I also add a sunlight using the sun position in Blender to enhance the lighting. You can check out my tutorial on how to use the sun position. You can also add a double light effect by placing some trees to block the sunlight. The shadow of the tree can create a nice double light effect for your scenes. These are 5 tips to improve your exterior rendering. Hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.